Today we're gonna to be talking about how $50 can be $150 and how you can grow money for good. So you may not realize this, but May is Military Appreciation Month. And you know, as someone who works with the military a lot, I'm constantly stuck by how so many companies just say, thank you for your service. And they have like a picture of a flag and there's someone wave, but that's it, that's it, there's nothing more. Well, thankfully I work for a company that is gonna do something special. So here's what we're doing. So May 15th through May 22nd, Guaranteed Rate is raising money for nine military community nonprofits. And I say military community because a lot of times people go, oh, it's for veterans. No, there's a lot of nonprofits that help active duty members as well. It's really the whole lifespan. And what's interesting about these nine nonprofits, a lot of them you've never heard of, period. And that's one of the things that I definitely thought was very interesting because the impact you can have with some of these smaller nonprofits is enormous, like enormous, life-changing. And all of these nonprofits are addressing a different need in a different way, but making a huge impact. Okay, okay, so let's talk about the money. Um, here's how it works. For every $50 donated, guaranteed rate does 100. So that 50 becomes 150. There's gonna be a link. You can pick any of the nonprofits you wanna donate to. Even if you can only do $5, that $5 becomes 15 and it's gonna make a huge impact for these organizations. So I'm gonna go through them now. I've got my list <laughs> and I'm gonna highlight what I thought, you know, when I was reading about these organizations, I was like, oh, that one really resonates with me for a certain reason. So Operation Homefront, that's helping service members and their families while they're active duty. Operation Homefront has a couple different things that they do. One of the things I thought was really interesting was critical financial assistance. So if you are an active duty member watching this and you're like, oh shoot, I need this, that's also why I'm doing these videos so that you all know what nonprofits can help in tough situations. Okay, so critical financial assistance, what is that? Home repairs, car repairs, groceries, essential baby items. Like, look, inflation's out of control. We all know this. And a lot of people are in a pinch. So Operation Homefront, people can actually apply for assistance to get help with this. That is one of the big things they do. Now, another thing they do, which I think is very needed, and I've seen the negative outcome from stuff like this not happening is transitional housing. So they provide transitional housing in a couple parts of the country for when military members are leaving active duty and they're gonna be getting some level of VA disability. The claims can take time. And you know, as a lender, I've seen it where people's credits trash. And I'm like, what happened? They're like, I was trying to get my VA benefit and blah, blah, blah. And they had this serious financial hardship because of how long it took. So this is something that helps offset that, that is a huge, huge benefit. Um, let's see here. Oh, and here's a fun one too. They actually also give away houses. I know, that's crazy. Houses with no mortgages, even cooler. So at this point, Operation Homefront has given away over 700 houses. Yeah, 700 houses. So if you're sitting here going, you know what, I would like to act of, I would like to help, you know, a military member transitioning who needs some sort of lodging while they try to get their VA disability handled. Or yes, I would like to help our active military who needs a little extra financial help. I mean, car repairs are crazy expensive. Or yeah, I wanna be part of someone getting a free house. Cool, Operation Homefront. Okay, what else have we got? The Blinded Veterans Association. Now, the BVA is actually really impressive when you look at what they've been able to get into law and the benefits that they've been able to get for uh, veterans suffering from sight loss. Really a great organization and worth checking out. I think that sight loss is something that does not get enough attention, but it changes your entire world. So I think it's an amazing organization because of their laser focus on this, as well as the fact that they are so impactful in the way that they can affect legislation. Um, it's really an amazing group. So if you want to help you know, veterans who have some level of sight loss, definitely Blinded Veterans Association. Okay. What else? I had to switch because there's one that's probably going to make me cry, so we're going to do that last. Okay, Veteran 
Future Fund. So Veterans Future Fund is really cool. So what they're trying to do is help people once they're outside of the military, really help with that transition. Now, I found out about them because of the Dirt Therapy Project. The Dirt Therapy Project is now combined with them. And what the Dirt Therapy Project does is it helps veterans after they're out get into mountain biking. I know, and you're like, what? It's cool, it's really cool because here's the thing. When people leave the military, they often leave a community. You know, they're used to being surrounded by people all the day. They're used to the camaraderie. They're used to having that tight knit group. And when they get out of the military, it can be really hard to find. Like I'm on the Reddit groups. I'm in the Twitter. I'm in all, well, X, excuse me. I'm in all of that. And I see it. What I see so much is I miss my friends. I miss having a place to go. I miss having a purpose. Dirt Therapy Project does this. You know, they do biking across the country. They do a different bike ride every single month. You know, they have specially adapted bikes. They donate bikes to people who need it. It's a great way to get into nature, but also to get that sense of community back. Okay, what else? Um, Hiring our heroes. <laughs> that one. That one's a little self-explanatory. So hiring our heroes helps with, uh, you know, career skills, tools, everything you need in order to go from being active duty into a civilian job. But also for spouses, which is a huge deal because you know after being moved around every three years. Often, you may not have the skill set that you need in order to get into that great job, and hiring our heroes helps with that. They also work with some of the largest companies in the United States to help place people in great jobs. So really a wonderful organization. They do these huge hiring fairs worth checking out. Um, Team Red, White, and Blue. Okay, this is a bigger one. You guys may have heard of them. So Team Red, White, and Blue is all about physical and mental health after getting out of the military. They have, right now, they're actually doing a relay through May 18th, the Old Glory Relay. Um, it is, I wrote this down, guys. It's one flag, 30 days, 1,600 miles. That's right. They are carrying that flag across the states. Very impressive. Um, when you dig into what they're doing, they're also building that sense of community. Um, okay. Pause. <laughs> okay. Operation Healing Forces. Now, Operation Healing Forces is probably one you haven't heard of. So Operation Healing Forces is dedicated to uh, former special forces members and their families. Now it's interesting because only 5% of the department of De defense qualifies as special forces, but special forces also has the highest rate of divorce, casualty, and illness. And that's something, you know, I don't really think people talk about and operation healing forces is really dedicated to making sure that the family members and the veterans are able to heal after going through that type of lifestyle. They do things such as couple ret retreats to help reconnect, but they also do a whole levy of special uh, assistance for special forces based on the world they were in. So it's a very different organization because the rest of them have been for the bulk. This one's super focused, but it's something that doesn't get talked about a lot, but there is definitely a need there. Um, okay, Fisher House Foundation. Yes, Fisher House Foundation. Fisher House Foundation does a couple things. Number one, they provide scholarships, military children, military spouses, really helping them get the education that they need in order to thrive. But what they're most known for is they provide housing for if you have a loved one in the hospital. So if there's a military member, veteran in the hospital, or you know, in one of the cases I was reading, um, you know, a couple had had babies that had to go in the NICU and they're providing housing so the parents can be near these children. You know, if someone's hurt, they're flying people in and providing housing so people can be near their loved ones while they're in the hospital. It's a really big deal. And if you look at how much that costs, that's often why people can't be near their loved ones when they're seriously injured or ill or in the hospital. So Fisher House Foundation is doing an amazing job helping keep people together. Um, Operation Deploy Your Dress, 
amazing organization. Uh, the key thing with that one is they're taking dresses, you know, ball gowns, prom dresses, all that fun stuff, and they're finding a second life for them. So they have right now about 12 shops and bases across the country, but they're looking at growing. Operation Deploy Your Dress is a real bootstrapped organization. It costs about $5,000 to set up a store. And what it does is it provides free ball gowns and special event dresses to military members and their dependents for special events, you know, prom, homecoming, um, the military balls. I love it for two reasons. First of all, that stuff is really expensive. So I think being able to offer it to everyone and have it be free is amazing. Secondly, we all have those dresses in our closet that we've worn once and we just don't wanna give away because they're so beautiful and this gives them another life. I also love it because with fast fashion and the way that you know the bulk of buying is really affecting our planet, I love that people are getting a second use out of these often one-time worn uh, dresses. They also take uh, men's tuxedos and stuff like that. I feel like men always rent it though. Okay, and then I save this one for last because, oh, this one, I'm gonna, well, we'll see how you do with it. <clears throat> Operation Gratitude. So Operation Gratitude sends out care packages. They send out care packages to our deployed soldiers. They also help, um, you know, they send care packages to our first responders. So it's really about making the people who take care of us, the people who protect us know that, hey, we really thank you. We really care. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this. And one of the things they do beyond sending out care packages is they do letter writing campaigns. And you know they also have coloring sheets for kids and they send those out to our military that's deployed as well. And I've definitely seen some pretty funny Reddit threads where military members are talking about, you know, the letter they got from a six-year-old or the picture. Um, so it's a fun way for people to know. And a lot of times people just think about, they're like, oh, you're just like sending stuff. What's the point of that? Mm. So let me read to you the phrase that made it so the founder, Carol, founded this and started doing this. She originally started doing this out of her living room. And at this point, over 4 million care packages have been sent. So what could someone say that would trigger that? Whew. An Iraqi soldier told her, you know, this is an American military member who was about to go back to Iraq again. I'm going back over there. I know I won't make it back this time, but it really doesn't matter because no one would even care. Wow, right? None of us ever want anyone feeling that way. That's horrible. So Operation Gratitude is so that people know we do care. So please get your wallet out, get your PayPal out, click on the link, Pick whichever one you connect with and donate whatever you can, whether it's a dollar, five dollars, a thousand dollars. Just remember, guaranteed rate is gonna help you grow that money for good so we can make the greatest impact. Thank you for taking the time to watch this and fingers crossed we hit our goal.